สวัสดีครับ What's up guys Welcome back to another action figure review This one is seeing Figma Mona Lisa SP155 The Table Museum Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci Product number Table and something Japanese uh, I can't read Japanese sorry so this is the front and the side of the box the right side and the left side and the back so we have uh, Mona Lisa in many different poses and play this is default looking in the museum and the other one is more like a creative funny kind of stuff and yeah uh what should we do oh the top so you can see the top right there and the bottom wow the bottom still some artwork and you know the layout they put the picture actually is similar to the top all right let's go and crack her open will ya i'm so excited about this figure uh, there you go cut everything you need to all right so we have the clamp so we can pull off so nothing inside the box make sure that we take everything outside of the box and here is a kind of a backdrop in purple color and blue and white at the back and here boom we have mona lisa she is really you know pricey really pricey for for a six inch figure like this i believe she is one twelve scale for sure but maybe we can look at the box again is it one twelve or not um i don't see anywhere exactly the scale of her but uh you know we can have uh we can have the measurement the ruler so we have the blue blue back back up here just plain blue and nothing really more plain blue with the plastic tray packed nicely I feel like this is really premium plastic tray. So we have the, uh, you know, how to set up, how to install her, like, you know, put her together. Now she is separates as a pieces. So we have Japanese and uh, we have English and yeah that's how you get the uh instruction the manual okay i don't know how to fold it back maybe that way and we have here is uh wow oh, there's a many layer here they keep the figure really securely so we have the base Figma base here, and we have a, a plastic ziplock back for you know to keep the thesis of the figure. This is the stand, Figma stand, as always. And here we have interchangeable hand, so we have the spare part of the joint right here. Okay, interchangeable hand, pointing hand and open hand, 
for both sides. So I'm going to leave them on the table now. And what we have here is a thumbs up, hands, and a peace hand, and grabbing hand, and, a, you know, sword holding hand. So I'm not going to unbox all of them. There's so many. So we're going to quick look at the, uh, you know, Mona Lisa herself really, really soon because I can't wait. I can't wait so I can do two accent, British and uh, American. Mostly I watch American movies, so that's why I heard I can't do it. I can't a lot, which is really similar to can. You know what I mean? Really similar, just a different at the last, you know, the last, the last sound. So we have here is uh, Mona Lisa. Uh, this is kind of a nudity something. Yeah, Mona Lisa legs and skirt piece. The skirt has a separate pieces, separate piece, just like so, like the hole right here. So I'm gonna take this off. Yeah, you can see her detail right here, which is really European pan panty style, really European, uh, you know, kind of a body shape. Yeah, from a long time ago. Mona Lisa is really old. I'm not really sure how old is the painting. Yeah, here. They're packed really securely and, uh, you know, feel so premium packed. Everything cannot move. You can see that, right? They put everything in the place. So the, uh, the figure is not moving at all from the uh the package and here is a painting like a background of the painting right there you have the plastic to cover and here is a picture frame so at the back so we have the uh the peg hole right here to peg to the stand I believe we can peg right into it. Yeah. We can peg. We can plug it in directly. But this is really stiff. I'm going to remove it for now. So, and there is nothing more on the plastic tray. So, I'm going to, we're going to remove this one. table museum so you can uh, you know you can kind of uh, bring the museum to your table yeah that's what it is and here we go Mona Lisa out of the plastic bag and boom so can you see her face right there Wow. Okay, it's kind of uh, blurry stuff, blurry style. I'm gonna make my camera focus. There you go. So let's see her articulation. So uh, can we remove this? I think we can remove so you can look at the detail around her like it's like a table or stair piece or something and she has a, she has really really nice face european 
like a uh, European lady face. And this is exactly Mona Lisa. They nailed it. They have done a really pretty good job over here. I believe we can remove this one. Like, yeah, right away. Ah, oh, okay. But before, before we remove and put her leg on, I'm gonna put her in the frame, like, you know, the way she came with the package. Oh, uh, I don't think we can. Mm, it's not easy. Yeah. I'm gonna, you know, just put her on top of the peg. So you, you can see, right? You can, uh, you can uh, get what it is, right? When Mona Lisa in the frame. And so let's uh, move to the next category. Like we're gonna put her leg on. So we're gonna remove the base right here. You know, the the base like uh display her in in the frame. Like painting, but you get the painting in 3D kind of stuff. The painting, the original painting is uh 2D, you know, like a flat on the uh the canvas. So now I'm gonna remove uh you know her skirt. For a moment, I don't think we, we need it for the articulation, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna pluck her. There. So, now, let's see her articulation. <laughs> there will be a little nudity here, but not exactly, you know, um, not, not completely bad. <laughs> bad display you know for uh articulation purpose we're gonna have to uh you know see her ball joint and everything and so on so this is a ball joint here ball joint at the waist and also the hinge like this it's a little uh stiff maybe i'm gonna have to Heat it up someday. Oh, it's really stiff. So I, I feel like I'm not gonna break it. You know, gonna heat it up and, uh, but you get the idea, right? Figma articulation. So here, her head can turn side to side. I think she has a little bit of, uh, you know, Strong color on her face, but a uh, light color on her neck is kind of uh, different. Yeah, really, really different color there. So uh, she can turn side to side. We can remove her head already, maybe. Yeah, we can remove her head. So uh, the Figma joy style right there so really really like it and yeah she can turn side to side and her eyes always look to the left side you know aka she has a side eye like mcfarlane most of the figure that mcfarlane used to do side eye and turn side to side a lot of tilt a little too, actually, so she can look down. I think the the hinge is really stiff. Mm, yeah. So she can look down that far, but I believe we can do more than that. I'm gonna, you know, do it off the camera, so uh, she can look up. Mm, not really. I mean, we have to heat it up, yeah. 
I'm gonna show you in the short video, okay? So right now we are doing the kind of a super raw review, kind of a lifestyle. <laughs> We're not gonna cut this one, okay? She can do a T pose, you know, without her skirt piece. She looks like a, a little on the, you know, uh, baby girl side. Okay, she can do a T pose and uh, she has a ball joint at the socket so she can she can move forward and move back similar to butterfly joy system similar but not not uh not a lot of uh you know not a lot of range so uh arm can rotate or shoulder can rotate and a little bit of uh Upper, you know, bicep swivel, a little bit of that, and we can remove her hood, hoodie piece, but her hair will look, you know, a little, a little uh, hole on the side. And uh, single jaw and elbow, which is you know, not cool. I wish we have double joint elbow. She can blend uh, 90 degrees and swivel at the elbow. Yeah, and the wrist can turn side to side. I believe we have a hinge over here. Yeah, we have both. It's similar to, uh, you know, many Figma. So we can have uh up and down or left and right it depends on uh it depends on you move and uh, the waist she has diaphragm joy and the waist so both system she can tilt quite a lot and the yeah, ab crunch actually she can do more than that we have to heat it up you know as I mentioned earlier, and leaning back. So now, uh, let's see full split or not. Do we have a drop down hinge? No, I don't think we have a drop down hinge. It's, uh, you know, typical normal ball joint at the top of the leg, and she can do a split that far. Which is, yeah, which is acceptable. I can live with that. And she can kick back. Oh, not, not kick back, sorry. She can kick forward. I don't think that's really far. Yeah, she can kick forward that far and kick back. And no upper thigh cut, but the top of the leg. So we can, we can rotate. We can swivel. Uh, single joint and knee. Which is a Figma joy style. I don't like the color of the the joy. It's a really really different color. You know, this is really light color, and the legs are strong color. Yeah, not cool, bro. And uh, her ankle can move down that far, move up that far, and ankle pivot. Yeah, no toe joy. The Figma has no toe joy. This Figma figure. Yeah. All right. That's uh, her articulation. So I think she can. Uh, she can do some creative by her, uh, you know, by her hand, and not much about uh, her action. I think. Mm. Yeah. This is really, really cool. Mona Lisa came to life. Usually we see her on the museum in France, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So here, 
gonna put her leg in the skirt. Yeah, if she is, uh, if she stand like a normal person, so she doesn't have a uh, shoes. And when she has the skirt, so she will, she will look like this. Yeah, stand as a person. Usually we, we only see her in, you know, in a painting form. This is a action figure form, like 3D form. You know, Mona Lisa can come to life. Wow. This is pretty, pretty cool idea, you know, to replicate the Mona Lisa. You know, one of the most famous painting in the world, in the human history, is Mona Lisa here. And here she is with us today. Yeah. All right. We're gonna have a, uh, you know, have her in the in the middle of the table. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. It's our traditional for the channel. I need to, you know. I need to do this. Uh, it's not exactly moving. So, just a little sum. Superhero landing pose. <laughs> can we do that for Figma figure? I think we can do something similar or almost, you know, almost like... <laughs> <laughs> Almost like Iron Man superhero landing pose for sure. All right. So we're gonna move her hoodie a little bit. Boom. Let her, you know, landing with her bare feet on. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Mona Lisa in superhero landing. I never thought I would do that, but you know, it's a traditional for our channel, right? 360 rotation for you guys. Mona Lisa in superhero landing. This is really creative and, uh, and really fun to do. All right. That's how, uh, the Mona Lisa Figma figure is. So let's see you guys in the next episode real soon. Bye.